Good evening, book people across the world. You can almost start like during the summer and hope you can all see me. We are um, cozy, sitting at different places here. Uh, I'm at my home and hopefully you have found a spot as well here. Um, my name is Veikoros. I'm a director of sales working with um, Europe One. And today we have a bit of different setting here for the meeting. And I think we have about 250 or maybe even more people on the call here today. And uh, the challenges we have always offer different opportunities. And the opportunity we have is that using this today's technology, we have gotten the best speakers for the next couple of weeks. So today we have Tain Lutz, a top experienced dealer, a sales manager, and Sander Silver as well, a top experience dealer and a sales manager as well, sharing their best knowledge. You actually have the possibility to learn from the best. But as we are here at uh, different places, um, and um, I would want you to definitely find a place where you can focus in, take notes, uh, write down, because whenever you do write things down and write things through, then you just learn more. And we definitely want you to invest in yourself. Now, starting off, before we get to our speakers, I wanted to give you a bit of an update. Um, I think we are in a situation I think none of us have experienced before. Um, and I have definitely lived longer than you have. Um, started off, I wanted to start off with the mission of selfish advantage, and we keep on reminding that the mission of Selfish and Advantage is to help young people to develop and build skills and character to help them achieve their goals in life. And sometimes achieving goals in life is easier and sometimes it's harder. But the more challenging and harder it is, the better it tastes. And I think today's situation reminds me of a story I um, heard and read, uh, I think about a year ago already, where a leadership guru, guru John Maxwell, was um, talking to his friend and asked from a friend to describe another person. And his friend said to John Maxwell that, you know, John, I really can't describe that person to you because I've never seen that person in a challenging situation. Uh, what that means, our true character is revealed uh, through challenges. And also Helen Keller has said, character cannot be developed in ease and quiet, only through experience of trial and error and suffering can the soul, soul be strengthened. So here we have a challenge at our door through this coronavirus, uh, moving around and going around from country to country, but it gives us a perfect opportunity to practice, to practice our attitude. And I don't know how many of the first years have had a chance to go through with their managers already a PC called CIA. And I don't know how many managers remember that CIA, but that means that's an acronym, C meaning things we can control. And there are things we can influence. And there are just things we have to accept. So thinking about the current situation, and thinking, what are the things you can control in this? And what are the things you can influence? And what are the things you just have to accept? And the more you can just focus on the things you can control, then the easier it is and the more success you will have. As you all know, and some of you have also seen, Southwestern history book is uh, called Finding a Way. And there is a reason why it's called Finding away. Um, I think it's partly because Southwestern is a very old company. It's been around for more than 160 years. And uh, one of the great builders of the company was Spencer Hayes, who died, I think, three, four years ago. And uh, his legacy was big. And one of his favorite quotes was, and I can just read it to you, because this was something he read and told himself every morning and all the sales managers know every time they saw Spencer, he was always telling that story. And he was telling to himself, looking in the mirror every morning, there are two types of people in the world. 
one finds an excuse, the other finds a way. It doesn't take guts, gumption, or determination to find an excuse. Anybody can locate one. It takes quality people to find a way over, under, around, or right through any obstacle that stands in the way. So that was something Spencer said, and then he asked himself, so what type of person are you, Spencer, going to be today? Most of you are young. Uh, some of you remember the 2008 crisis, financial crisis, but I think today's crisis is a bit different. It's uh, caused by a virus going around. What gives me strength and belief is the fact that South Asian Company has been uh, around such a long time and through this time has been through all different challenges from starting civil war, World War I, to uh, Hispanic flu. I just found out that the Hispanic flu, by the time it was about 100 years ago, it infected about 27% percent of the world's population and that was about half a billion not million but billion people and about five to ten percent died because of that so the company has been through that the company has been through other different depressions the great depression as well and knowing all that definitely gives me belief also what gives me belief is the fact that looking at the experience of asian countries especially china handling and getting the virus under control having about a month and a half ago 4,000 new cases every day now a month and a half later having 10 20 maybe 30 a day so definitely has made a big progress and gives us belief that is it's doable and believable although i think before things get better they do get worse i think so next two freaks next two three weeks definitely will get worse and then we hope to see situation normalizing after that. But considering all this, all the background, um, we have talked and discussed with our district sales managers, the leaders of Europe One organization. Um, then we have decided the best thing we can do is just to move forward, to keep on doing what we have been doing, preparing ourselves for a great summer. And the good thing is, Although the visa interviews currently are on hold, but the good thing is that we have confirmation from most of the embassies that as soon as we get the green light, um, then for example, in Estonia, the embassy is open and willing to accept 100 different interviews in a day. So as soon as we get the green light, so we're definitely could go through the visa interviews fairly quickly. So it's doable, but there is, Knowing what we know, there is five things I would like to share with you to pay attention at this stage. And we keep you updated as the process involves. Number one, school. Be good, do things necessary. Uh, so you rather stay ahead with things. Um, there is a saying that you need to learn to manage yourself. And if you don't learn that skill, then in your life, somebody else will always manage you. So this is a great time to learn some self-management and self-discipline and try to stay ahead with school stuff. Number two, Southwestern preparation. Uh, to all the first years out there, keep the list of the, um, we say the top 10 things to do before the summer to become a top first year. That's in your first year manual as well. I think different first year manuals have different setups but in the newest version it's on page 11 so there is 10 things to do before the summer and try to do those things before end of april then number three there is some extra things you can do to prepare yourself for the summer with that maybe extra time currently in your hands um, we say there is two keystone habits two great habits that make a big difference in your life the one is getting, get, 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 keeping yourself physically fit. You can't go to gym, uh, can't go to any group training. So you can go running, we say, running and reading. And you can do some exercises at home. So uh, keep yourself fit. And the second thing is the reading. Uh, I think student managers, sales managers have recommended usually about two, three books to read before the summer. But if you have some extra time in your hands, then Definitely currently there is time to read some extra books, take, take notes on those, makes a big difference. And some books to read, uh, definitely ask some extra ones, but what to say when you talk to yourself, 
Black Belt in Sales, Tell Carnegie book uh, about how to win friends and influence people, Compound Effect, Sell or Be Sold by Grant Cardone with the winning in mind, and there is some other great books to read as well. Number four, use video chat for the PCs and practicing and be proactive. So make sure you have one PC a week with your manager and make sure you have one practice session with somebody in a week. And be proactive about yourself. Find yourself those partners you can practice with. And um, just to tell you a story, I myself was mentoring Kaibrit Kalda. Kaibrit was last year the number one first year from Europe One. And physically, we met with Kaibrit only once before the summer because she was studying in Scotland. And all the sessions, all the practicing we did was mostly through a screen. And she was the number one first year last year. My own first summer, I was studying in Germany. And back in the times, there was no, no, no video chat even or, or uh, video sessions uh, possible. So I had all the materials and I just got ready myself through the spring. So it's totally doable. Number five, don't go to offices. Keep social distancing. Stay at home as much as you can. That is the only way to kill the virus. Um, Sometimes on young people, those symptoms I've understood are very light, so might even not notice it, but you still might spread it. So don't go to offices, keep social distancing. So these are the five things to pay attention to. But like I said, we keep you updated week by week because nobody knows 100% sure uh, how this develops. Um, somebody might come up with a vaccine or a treatment um, and um, this whole thing is gone but we will just keep on focusing on what we can control. Now, without, without any further, I will introduce the speaker, the first speaker we have, and that is Sander Silver. Sander, are you here? I, before I introduce you, Sander, are you here? Let's see if we can hear Sander. I think Sander is on mute at the moment. Can you hear me? Yes, now I can hear you, Sander. Uh, but to introduce you as well, so everybody knows what a tremendous person you are. As, um, that's like I said, it's one of the benefits of having this call. Uh, we have people from Slovakia here, we have people from Poland, we have people from Estonia. We have, I think, close to 300 people on this call here. And about Sander, Sander has been a, he's a sales manager running his powerful base. And uh, before joining Southwestern, Sander had never done sales or led any people. He studied electric and engineering uh, in Tallinn Technical University and later on entrepreneurship in Estonian Business School. And uh, during his seven years in the program, he served more than 1,700 families in the US and Canada. What is pretty amazing is Sander's consistency, because as I understand, Sander, you hit President's Club in uh, all of the last five summers you've had with Southwestern. Is that true? Correct. Correct. There you go. Awesome. Um, I'm gonna quit uh, the Zoom for a moment and I'm gonna log in because oh. I can't share my screen. So, okay. But you can go on, I'll be back in a second. <laughs> <laughs> you will hear the awesome introduction, So, but you probably know how awesome person you are yourself. Sander also uh, has won the platinum level in sales. What that means through the summers he has experienced with Southwestern, he has sold more, more than 30,000 units with all the summers. And last year he was also a top subscriber in Europe One organization. He signed up 174 logons. So that brings you $8 profit for every logon you do. So that's some nice passive income. Through his career, he has also won the VIP trip. That means raising, growing 3,200 or more units uh, with uh, summer. And uh, Sandro has never missed the Sizzler. And I think uh, if you win Sizzler, you never want to miss it. So the best thing you can do, just win it the first year. What's awesome is Sandro also has helped us to get going South as an Advantage Foundation. This is a foundation we have established to uh, a charity course uh, helping young entrepreneurs and um, some private stuff as well. Um, Sandra is married to Crystal, 
and they got engaged in Sizzler, I think it was two years ago. And uh, Crystal is currently an event planner for our group as well. And Sander in um, his uh, spare time enjoys winter swimming. I guess this winter was pretty warm. So Sander even doesn't call it winter swimming because the water was so warm. He also loves yoga, running and investing and enjoys traveling. 26 states and 34 countries he's been through. So Sander Silver, now we see your PowerPoint as well, which is awesome. So Sander, the stage is yours. Awesome. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Sander. Great. Uh, thank you for the awesome introduction. I, I didn't hear a part of it, but yeah, I liked what I, what I heard. And uh, I, I totally agree with what Veiko said before as well. Um, I'm not going to stop too much on, on this Corona thing, but I like, I think this is like during the summer as well, like unexpected situations might happen that you might not see. And, you know, you have two options, you know, either you give up, you find an excuse or you just adjust to the situation and keep on going, you find a way. And I think this is like, an incredible opportunity that we're facing right now maybe this is for us to see what we have been made of and we're going to look back at this time and we're going to see that certain people showed up and stood up and and led while other people were hiding and didn't help anyone out so this too shall pass this is just a test that's all it is and southwestern's mission is to help people achieve their skills and character um, achieve their goals through that and so let's let's see what we can do to to push this uh, mission right now so my uh, my topic is gonna be on uh, uh, public relations uh, so let's see what we can do to get better and to work towards our mission we're gonna cover uh, what is uh, PR and how does it affect us um, why do you use Facebook properly and how the maker book man or book girl profile more attractive. Uh, I'll share a couple of things that have gone wrong in the past, what you should avoid and uh, what have I done well. And uh, I have a lot of stories, so so let's go. I hope everybody can hear me. So um, so what is PR, uh, public relations? In, in Southwestern context, um, it means any direct and indirect contact with people. Uh, not just customers and not only in the US. Um, right now you're doing it uh, in Europe and from the moment you sit on the plane, you're creating Southwestern's uh, public image um, in the US. Um, and why it's so important is because you have to be personally responsible for everything you say and do. Um, because in mom's eyes, you are Southwestern and Southwestern is you, so, so there is no difference. So you're representing the whole, the whole company, the whole program. And if you miss, if you mess something up, then you, know, you might screw up everybody else's summer as well. Um, if you don't believe me, then uh, you know, there's a story from my uh, first summer. <laughs> um, because somebody was so stupid that they asked the pre-approach before door demo with their great Eastern European accent or accent <laughs> so these rumors started in facebook about estonian and uh, russian uh, sex traffickers you know asking for uh, for the kids where are the kids where are the little angels and uh, yeah funny now but not so funny back in the day so the the whole state had to move uh, to a different territory and it wasn't only oklahoma where i was it affected the whole us so so my summer was way harder than it normally would be. And I'm grateful for, for that it happened, but you don't wanna be remembered by messing up everybody else's summer. So just please be really careful that only ask pre-approach, you know, if you have shown the books and don't mention any kids names on the door. And don't talk about the little angels. I hope it makes sense. Um, and, you know, to be honest, this great PR is not only what you do in Facebook and you know, uh, you know what what people think you're doing over there. It it means that uh, you know, you you also how you come across and how polite and pressure free you are. That you're you're like just being a normal person, not like a book robot. And you're always you know you're always honest. Um, 
there's a saying that you know people don't remember what you said or did but they will always remember how you made them feel and you might see some people who are uh, negative um you know they might start shouting at you uh, luckily there is not too many people like that but if that happens just leave and say thank you for your time and god bless um so never start like arguing and and a good idea is that uh, don't do like these cold calls uh, after dark you know don't go and freak out people um you can ask your manager as well uh, how to ask how to work like referrals and how to work appointments properly um uh but moving on like the facebook uh i don't know if any first years have set up the facebook profile already um but this is something that uh we're gonna we're gonna see, send you also how to and and you can ask your manager. You can pretty much like copy and paste their profile. Um, I think um, Facebook in the summertime is like this two-edged uh, sport. So it can help you a lot, but it can also distract you. And the choice is yours. You decide. I know what I I have decided. So for me, it's just a tool. Uh, so it helps me to be more professional. It definitely helps to create uh, uh, and keep good PR and credibility. Um, I have found that I get way more warmer referrals because people see me there and they already know that I'm coming. Um, it helps to reduce and eliminate cancellations. I will show you a couple of examples of that. Um, who knows, you might even have a couple of extra customers uh, thanks to that. Uh, but the main thing is this that you know you choose when you deal also with the police and uh, with the city halls proactively not not reactively helps you to get inside you know uh, and and for me i don't do much positive reading in the morning uh, my positive reading is just this that i post the customer pictures um and then i just read the comments and you know that's that's always going to get me going in the morning that's my positive reading and it's it's really unlikely that people will get confused and spread like these rumors that were spread about me and other students in Oklahoma. Um, so definitely, it's a, it's a great tool uh, to bore, to be more credible. Um, and like I said, you have to proactively work on it. If shit hits the fan, then you know there's not much you can do to remedy it. Um, always leave your business card. To everybody that you talk with, leave business card to the police station, um, to prospects, to almost everybody that you see, even at the breakfast place, you can leave your business card there. Um, always make a permit, post a photo, and uh, you know show it if needed. And whatever happens, um, I know I, I have struggled uh, with this. Maybe my my first uh, couple of summers that leave everybody in a better mood than they were before meeting you. Um, you know, you can't let them feel bad because they didn't buy. I hope it makes sense. Because sometimes, you know, you are really convicted in what you're doing and you really want to help them. But it might be like the situation, we, we can't help everybody. And, and even if it's like this, you see that they, they really, they should buy, but they don't still say that, you know, thank you so much for taking the time to take a look at this. You know, I know you guys are going to do well in school either way because you're a cool mom and you obviously care about the kids education thank you so much um i know that's emotionally challenging but you know you need to do that and um uh, you know you can you can ask uh, open-minded moms to add you as a friend in facebook they don't have to be your customers but uh, just do that after sit down um just make sure that they're open-minded <laughs> and they can help you a lot uh, you know with the pr um and you have probably seen as well that we make these customer photos it's always a good idea to ask uh, mom's permission to use the picture as well so how i do it is that i just ask like hey mrs jones is it cool uh, if i share your picture with my mom and other moms on facebook as well and in 99 percent they're okay with that if they're not okay with that then i just share their testimonial or you know i ask if that's okay um so moving on um, to police and getting permits. Uh, so this getting a permit and introducing yourself to sheriff uh, might really go a long way. Uh, that's uh, me in Wilbarger County, Texas, uh, two summers ago. Um, got the permit, met the sheriff, 
made friends with him. He was a really cool guy. He gave me like even this patch or this badge. Um, he posted about me on Facebook later on. Um, his uh, wife bought books from me and one of our Sunday meetings was uh, actually going shooting with the sheriff. So how cool would that be? You know, he's the, like the biggest guy in the, in the county and he was uh, <laughs> almost like my friend. So that was like a, like a cool thing, but how, how to do it. Um, so, and why we do it is because uh, it's for two reasons. Why, why we go to the police, uh, even if we have a permit is that it lets them know that you're proactive in solving problems and you're available to them if there's like any issues. And secondly, you can actually start like a names list for police. So uh, later, if you're going to the next town, um, you know, you can, you can show pictures already and uh, you know, you can, you can show business cards who, have, who you have already met. So I all, always ask uh, business cards from police officers. And even if you work just in a city limits, I would still go to the sheriff department and meet them as well because they might have a bigger reach and you know, they, they actually work together. But what you have to do is that you go there with a humble attitude and you're positive. You can't start like demanding like, hey, you know, can you please post <laughs> post about me like straight away? You have to make, make friends first and customer second like with Mrs. Jones, just make sure you're clean, you wear your name badge, take, take your permit. So first you make the permit and then you go to the police because otherwise they will ask like, hey dude, where's your permit? Um, I would ask uh, to talk with somebody who's in charge, like the chief or sheriff or uh, somebody who's in charge of the dispatch. Just introduce myself. I tell them that I'm living with the local host family. I give them uh, like this info sheet uh, so you will get all of this uh, like in sales school. So this is like really proactive approach. We already put our information there and everything. Um, I show uh, slicks or books, but I don't go like to full demo. I don't try to sell them. Sometimes they buy still, but I don't try too hard. Show pictures um, and then uh, yeah, make, make friends. And I, I like to compliment them because being a police officer in US, there's a lot of pressure for these police officers, uh, like honestly. Uh, and I tell them that, yeah, thank you for your service. Is it okay if I take a photo with you as well? Like, you know, I sometimes say that, you know, my mom is pretty scared back home, you know, me alone here <laughs> in the States. Can we do a quick photo so uh, so she knows I'm safe? Um, and and later I just ask that, you know, hey, maybe you can, maybe you can get the word out that, uh, you know, I'm legit and, you know, uh, because I have an accent and therefore sometimes it's hard for people to understand me. So basically you give them a reason why you're asking for uh, the police to share this post. Um, and then they usually have like a communications or PR person. Um, they might have a Facebook page, most of the police stations do but you can't pressure them or be like forceful if they don't respond uh, the way how you, how you want to. Sometimes you have to go there many times. Like this is, uh, this is in Lawrence County this last summer. I got the post from Aurora, the city I was working with, but when I went to the sheriff's department, you know, I was kind of working in the countryside as well. So, um, you know, I, I wanted to introduce myself to them as well. There was nobody there. There was just this lady, on the counter and then what I did is that I just wrote to them um, in their uh, uh, Facebook in the messenger and uh, I had to approach them like I think three times twice or, or three times I went there and then later I was like okay I'm just gonna write them and you know this is a picture of me you know the city already posted about me if you can give the country residents a heads up as well then I would be thankful and and they got the post. So always three approaches, but you can't force them. And uh, this is Hardo Hanser, um, really, uh, really good bookman as well. Uh, from uh, this summer, Montpelier, Ohio, uh, Hardo said that uh, nobody wanted to make a photo with him when he got the permit. Nobody wanted to add him as a friend. But what he did, Hardo was creative. He just make, made a photo himself. And uh, he let uh, people uh, share this photo uh, who uh, he sat down with. It's a good idea. So all in all, he got 81 shares. And, and he mentioned that most everybody whose door he knocked on, 
they were open-minded and they wanted to to speak with him um yeah same from minnesota made the permit made friends with the police they posted about me later when i got the new car they posted about me again so it's cool to stay in touch when you actually change vehicles or or when you get the car when you switch from bicycle to, to car and host family commented it's it's all legit so so yeah. so basically you want to ask the person who's in charge to post something but you know that's not always under your control so if it doesn't work out then it's still good yeah and this is Gerda and uh awesome lady number four in the company last summer uh she was best from europe one with uh, 8661 units and she does it the right way as well that's why she sells so much um story uh so yeah, these are her her posts you see that there is 128 likes that's awesome but from the last summer from uh yal mexico new mexico sorry <laughs> that's a state uh molly sanchez was the city clerk who gave her the permit and she got the good connection with the lady sold books and uh later the lady uh recommended uh, all the co-workers from the next room uh, who also bought so boom like three buyers from a city hall talk about the way to start a city like somebody asks like from the door like do you have a permit yeah here it is in fact like the ladies who gave me the permit they all got the books as well i signed up the whole city hall you have a place we can sit down so <laughs> that would be pretty pretty awesome wouldn't it so, so I have too too many of these stories. So I'll, let's just go fast through them. But uh, yeah, same from Archer City. Like people started, you know, sharing this post. I asked them to. Then the chief bought books. Um, same in Holiday, Texas. Went in, made a permit. You always post the the picture of the permit as well. And then. Uh, this is Renee Price. I didn't ask her to. Um, to write this but uh, uh, she was my customer and Renee had turned away Southwestern for many years but for some reason she bought from me and she she made this post if he comes by you might take a look if you don't think it's for you just say no thanks Sander says he can handle it he had his emotions surg surgically removed and I didn't really ask this lady to, to write this but you know it worked out well so later the city hall lady actually wrote to my Facebook and she wanted to buy as well. So she got her books. So I have a lot of, lot of stories like this. And you know, if you can meet the mayor, it's good. If you can sign up the mayor, even better. And that a mayor who bought, um, yeah. Like when I was in Elgin, Texas, again, they weren't too open-minded. They didn't wanna, they were nice in the city hall, but in the police station, they didn't want to post anything or talk too much with me, but but they still made this post. And I had added like Texas alumni in Facebook and one of the greatest team builder uh, all, ty all time, he, he saw the post and, uh, you know, his teammate for us from this town. And, you know, he hooked me up to, to meet the mayor of the town. So I went and met him, you know, got a testimonial, really cool guy, open-minded, but, you know, Dads don't make these decisions, so he sent me to to his wife, and they they bought the book, so signed up the mayor, and then like a week later, I actually moved in with them, so they were my new new host family. So so either way, it's a good idea to go and talk to the mayor or the city uh, officials if you can. Just you know, you can talk it over with the manager. Um, and yeah, if you can, you can also. You know, you can ask uh, if the public relations person from the police department forwards this information to the local news outlets. So that was in, in Austin, Texas, when we sold. And yeah, this Lauren Cannon, she's the wife of the, the mayor. So boom, like 72 shares. So, so like I said before, if you use Facebook properly, it helps you a lot. It helps you with closing, you know, you're more credible. It helps you to, to lower like uh, cancellations as well. Um, but yeah, the main thing is this, that you don't need to prove anything or, you know, you don't need to convince them because they have already heard about you and, you know, you can just show the pictures as well. But yeah, cancellations, how does it help with that? Well, 
sometimes they write to you and they want to cancel and then you can figure it out, you know, what's the issue and, and win them back. So instead of them calling the customer service, you know, they can write to you and, you know, sometimes there's just too many books at once or it's like too many payments. They want to do smaller payments, but they still want the books. So this lady bought Advantage Silver and Explore and Learns, but gave back two Advantage books. So I saved 24 units plus online. Same here. I guess you get the point. So, so since you are in the picture all the time when you use Facebook, then people start using the books more as well because they see you in Facebook and they have this constant reminder. And I think it's also good for uh, next year's dealers because they know that it's a legitimate thing and, you know, Southwestern will be around. Uh, but if you screw it up, then it will be pretty bad for a dealer who's working there next, next year. So, so be really careful. Um, it's also a huge uh, momentum booster for me uh, when customers start posting that, you know, they are using the books and, you know, these pictures, you know, and they're thanking me and uh, many have seen this picture. This is Glenda uh, Kindred from Minnesota and, uh, you know, she bought the books and wrote that it was great working with you. I'm, I'm glad you stopped by. Thank you. My kids seemed excited about it when I was showing them the books. And then the, the fourth creator wrote that, uh, thank you for helping my mom so she can help me and my brother and sister. I appreciate it. Thank you. So that really gets me, me going, just customers writing about it and, and sharing their experiences with the, with the books. Um, so how to make it attractive? Um, so make sure that you post something every day. Uh, when you don't have customers, just post something from Southwestern Pages. Um, there can be like motivational pictures, um, yeah, stuff from Southwestern. Um, you can share like cool stories about uh, your host family, your turf, uh, alumni that you met on Sundays, Sunday meetings. Yeah, this is our host family. Um, and sometimes these posts actually get more likes than customer photos. I, I don't know why, but <laughs> you, will, you will have your fans. Uh, if you go to follow, you know, you can make a post about that. Fourth of July with your bookmobile, alumni. Yeah, this is this guy I was talking about before, the record horror, Wade Floyd. Alumni with a Porsche. That's interesting. New bookmobile. And this is Alan, one of my teammates, posting about their host family. So, um, and sometimes you might even actually find the host family through Facebook uh, again uh, this has happened to me before as well but again story from Hardo um, so what happened is that they had to change HQs so what Hardo did he posted in Facebook straight away and uh, he got a new host family in like 15 minutes it's this uh, Trista Moody this uh, lady who wrote that I wish we had the room um, looks like she she had the room <laughs> Uh, she, she was uh, uh, his customer and uh, next year they actually hosted book eats again so I think it really goes a long way um, and, uh, and I have had many times this that uh, you know people start uh, writing to me that you know they actually want to want to buy the books and they have seen me in Facebook um, yeah there's many many examples of that uh, some people who actually turn you away on the door so it was bad time, but Shelly really wanted me to come back. Uh, and, you know, she got to explore and learns. Uh, this lady, you know, sent me away because uh, her husband was there and he was a uh, neg. So, yeah, no offense to you, but he's not a fan of door-to-door -door sales. <laughs> but the boys will love them and they'll be good resource in my classroom. We'll be here most of the day. So she always obviously wanted to get the books. Um, so I have too many stories like that, but yeah. Um, so so this is not like uh, magic. If you put in the work and effort, then you know good things are gonna happen. This is like a nice bonus. Um, additional things I'll I'll go through it quickly. Um, you know you can let alumni and host family post about you, share posts. That's helpful. There might be these closed Facebook communities or this app next door that you know you can't log in there, you can't see what's going on there, but they can because they're residents. So 
uh, it's a good idea to ask them to post something. You can do video testimonials with teachers, post them on Facebook or some of the really cool customers, post some nice articles and posts about education, um, videos about how to use the books. I always do that at the end of the summer. Um, and you know, you might even, if you work with a car, you can sell some of the books with a small discount if you have something left over. So you can do something like this, but that's like a bonus, bonus idea. But what to do right now? I guess um, you don't have uh, you don't have too much time uh, to think about it during the summer or or the next summers. Um, make sure that you make a game plan: what to post and how often you post. What kind of motivational pictures you want to put there? Uh, save some good articles. There's a really good article from uh, University of uh, Nevada. If you want to write it down, then it's uh, books at home. Uh, kids successful put put in those keywords books at home kids successful so there's a study that uh, the more books you have at home the more successful kids are going to turn out doesn't matter what kind of education parents had or you know what was their like money situation um yeah make sure that you know how to edit those pictures and if you want to put in those testimonials as well don't put the kids' names and you know grades there, but you need to crop them somehow. I use Instagram for that. Make sure you know how to organize your photos, your names lists, um, and yeah, maybe even some some news stations. But that's just ask that from the from the manager. So this is all like good stuff, uh, you know. But some of you have heard this story that in 2015. Again, <laughs> I had this small incident with PR and and what happened was that I was working uh, uh, later than the permit hours and I was going uh, to an appointment and I just knocked on a wrong door and then the cop showed up and took away my permit and at the same time I had a permit pending in the next city so uh, somehow the news station picked it up and blew it totally out of proportion so it looked like I was like wanted or something like have you seen him? <laughs> And look at that, like 2,353 shares. Well, luckily I had made some friends and my customers started defending me and the reporter who published that uh, original article and the misleading story he contacted me and I had a chance to go to TV and, and share my, my side of the story. And, and after that, uh, everybody knew me in Mississippi. You know, I was the good guy. <laughs> I just relocated to the next county and started selling uh, PC for the first time. So I. My last, like two weeks after that, I hit PC and then I hit PC until the end of the summer. So moral of the story is this, that even when things go south, uh, if you are nice to people around and you treat them well, then everything will be fine. So yeah, I'm thankful for that experience. I think it's like a lesson learned. Um, yeah, hashtag fake news. <laughs> so <laughs> some, some other managers might have had rumors about them in Facebook and uh, yeah, this my first summer, this child trafficking rumor uh, really hurt me because I didn't, we didn't even use Facebook, uh, this book man and book girl pages back in the day. But now I know how to handle it. So when it happened, you know, I got to react straight away um, because I think my, my host mom, uh, she saw the post and I wrote to the lady straight away with like a serious tone um, that, you know, if you shared this false evidence about child trafficking, then that's even worse than child trafficking you're making it way worse and you know she in a polite way i wrote wrote to that wrote to her um and what she did is that she ended up taking down the post and uh, wrote to everybody that it was fake and apologized uh, publicly in facebook so so yeah i guess lesson learned for her um you you might need to do this so you know talk about this with your with your manager so, so yeah, uh, I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to leave you like a small homework as well. Um, the homework is going to be this, that make your own book man and book girl profile. So later on, uh, Tony will send out uh, how to as well, how to do it. You need like a separate, uh, uh, separate email for that. So just remember that make a plan already before the summer. Uh, Always work proactively on your PR. It's easier to prevent it uh, than to remedy it. 
Um, and this good PR, it's not only what people see in Facebook, but it's how you come across and how polite and how pressure free you are. People don't always remember what you said or did, but they will always remember how you made them feel. Um, only ask pre-approach after door demo. Don't ask about kids, don't ask about little angels and uh, use common sense. So um, yeah, I guess that's that's pretty much all from me and uh, I hope this helps. Um, the situation that we're in right now, this too shall pass. So be safe, guys. Thank you very much, Sander. I don't know if you guys can all see me here. Veiko Ross is yes. back here. Some of you asked some questions in between and um, we have here great editor, Denis Erisa, getting some of those answered. But as we're running a bit late with time, then those questions you have in your mind, write those in your paths and ask and go through those questions with your managers. And I uh, would actually like you, you now to all uh, behind the screens here, take a bit of time, look at the notes you took, maybe cross an idea or two you really got out of this part, a couple of ideas you definitely wanna pay attention to, couple of things you want to definitely do. Those are great stories from Sander. A lot of information. Don't worry. If it was too much, there will be more and more going over uh, with this. So just get yourself moving and get yourself moving in the right direction with this PR stuff and try to create your profile. Uh, but we are moving now ahead without further ado. And we have a next speaker. We have Tin Lutz. Do we have Tain here? All right, all right, all right. Tain Lutz. And um, I think results speak so clearly for Tain. Tain was a top first year, top B manager, top C manager, top D manager, top E manager, top F. Uh, Tain actually has not gotten so far yet, so has been on the field for summers, but definitely he will be a top. He has been organization leaders, uh, leader for three summers. And uh, Thing was promoted to be a group leader, organization leader, already his second summer. Not too many people get that opportunity. It's definitely a challenging position, but a very rewarding position. If Thing was given that opportunity, that means the type of trust uh, his district sales manager has with and in Thing. Uh, Thing also has had a GRG or top team through the years, and Thing has. Sold is a proud member of Mort Club. So Mort Dudley Club, that means thousand units in a week, uh, twice uh, through the summer. So not easy to hit. That's more than $7,000 profit within a week. So Thane has definitely done it. If you want to do it, just listen to what Thane says. And um, Thane also has been in 2017 a nominee for the Student Excellence Award. Every year out of those, all the students in South an Advantage only Four or five students get nominated for the Student Excellence Award uh, regarding you know, the results in school, the charity they do, the things we do besides school, and results in South Western, and Tain was one of them. And last not, but not least, Tain was the first and the only sales manager we have in Europe one who was promoted to be a sales manager after his B manager summer. So after second summer, become a sales manager. And a funny story, if I can share, I think with Tain, and if I go back in the times, and I think we had a final interview. I did it for Tain, and just a couple of days before, maybe somebody else did, but I remember I was uh, driving my car and I was listening to a radio station, a show, and I was listening, there was this guy with this great, strong voice, and it's like, wow, that guy is good in radio. And I came to the office, and I don't remember if I had a final interview or no, but I, I heard, that same guy, you know, from the radio here. So then has been a radio host, a great day DJ, um, song, can, can sing well, can dance well, can play soccer well. So whatever thing does, then that's good. So thank you lots. All right, all right, all right. I hope you guys hear me as well. Yes, we, it, yes, we can hear you then very good. Nice, nice, nice warm introduction, Veiko. 
I have a pretty short uh, part. Uh, it's uh, it's like a seven o'clock already, so I make it in 10, 15 minutes. Uh, I talk about like a summary and price build up. Uh, I give you a couple of ideas. Uh, what you can do if you're doing summary and price build up and uh, we can walk you through uh, what is the main key ideas behind those uh, topics. So the summary uh, has to be uh, short and it has to be really uh, impressive. So if you already have been looking through those uh, like uh, sales talks, what we have, squeeze and advantage, we can see the summary part is pretty short. So and um, it has to be really impressive. And how do you, how you can make it impressive is that uh, you, it has to be really like uh, enthusiastic. Some people uh, are like normally really enthusiastic and they are so loudly and doing different things. But uh, right now, uh, some people thinking about they're really like shy and calm, calm down. It's not that you have to be really loudly uh, it's more like you have to be enthusiastic. Even you can be enthusiastic with your uh, eyes. Uh, you can ask your manager how, how you can do it. It's pretty easy. And also how to be uh, enthusiastic. It's, it, behind this is excited uh, tone of voice. So if you're talking with somebody, you have a super awesome weekend coming up, for example. And if if you're planning to go together with your friends, having a nice weekend in Latvia, for example, and you rented a huge house, not, not this weekend, but in general, uh, and you're renting a huge house and you talk to each other like, oh, I'm going to Latvia and we gonna have an epic uh, party in a villa what we rented in Latvia. I can I can tell right away it's not gonna be epic. It's gonna be super boring, like a couple of birthdays. You just feeding like a potato salad and sitting and watching each other and watching some movies. It's pretty boring, boring. But uh, if you uh, if the uh, tone of the voice is more excited, it's gonna be epic. We're going to Latvia and we rented uh, like a villa and in the, in the top of the roof even we have a like a uh, pool there. It's gonna be a huge party. Everybody's coming there. And then I understand right away myself that if I'm not attending, I know that uh, it's going to be a big party. So the summary has to pretty much uh, uh, the same way. It, it excites, excited the donor voice, you have to show the excitement uh, for the family because you know, you know a lot of about the system. And we're talking through lots of months about the products and that kind of. So you, got, you guys know. But who don't is the family there. You, even you're doing two demonstrations about, for example, squeeze, you're showing the mindset, even showing the ad needs, or look at those, uh, mm, mm, I don't know what, what kind of demonstrations you do, guys, but uh, it doesn't matter. If you're doing like a two of them, then there's a lot of, lot of things behind the system what you really would uh, need to show them. And you know about it, and they don't. So the summary key idea behind it is that you have to show them the whole system and what they're getting out of it. You have to explain it. So right now I show you really boring uh, slides. It's that one. It's our summary in a suite system. I just make it as an example to show you guys if, if you make it boring or how to be more excited about it. So if you're sitting together with a 45-year-old Susan and Matt is 34, for example, between, yeah, yeah, 45 and 30, 34, Matt, exactly. And they have like a little, little one, for example. Uh, then, uh, no, 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 Susan has to be 30 as well. Sorry about that, guys. Susan is also 30. Don't worry about Susan. Susan is 30. <laughs> and... If you're sitting there and doing summary, they really like the books and you do it that way. So essentially, Susan and Matt, uh, uh, yeah, what we have here is a complete uh, high quality learning system that includes uh, 26 books, uh, membership to six websites, uh, two apps we have, and seven peanut butter and jelly proof posters. You're probably not gonna sell it there. 
there's no sales coming up. It's so boring. It's really boring. And how do, how do, um, let's go back, is that how do me be like enthusiastic, excited about it is more, uh, you have to be impressive, right? So how you, how you guys uh, should do it is that like, so essentially what you have here, Matt and uh, Susan, is a complete like a high quality learning system that includes like a 26 books, membership to six websites, two apps and seven peanut butter and jelly brew posters. You get like 150 hands-on activity, 800 questions about like 12 different school subjects, more than thousand sight words in English and Spanish. And you, you not need to be so fast. You can do it slower as well. You also get the access to Homer, the number one learn to read program in the United States, plus interactive games and puzzles, where it even gives you parents feedback how the kids are doing. That's pretty cool, isn't it? What do you like the best about so far? How it makes learn like learning fun or how it prepares them for the school? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess you can see why all the like Jennifer Adamson's, Miss Smith, Miss Jones have been getting those. Exactly. And then like Kido is watching you all the time and he's like, really? I'm getting all of that kind of stuff. And he's playing together with another kid who is a neighbor. He's also playing uh, in the yard. And he's like, what? I'm getting all, like, they're getting all that kind of stuff. You have to have like that kind of impre uh, impression there. And the little one is looking at you and, are you kidding me right now? He's doing like that way. And then you understand you're doing really good summary guys. And the dad is going opening the Squeeze website like, what? It's amazing. He's not looking at the bank account. He's looking at the Squeeze website actually. And he's calling uh, Thomas and Thomas uh, looking at advantage, advantage for parents website at the same time. So the main idea is you have to be excited. It's short, but uh, you have to be enthusiastic. The main idea you're giving out that they have, need to understand they're getting like everything for the kids, what they need to prepare for them from the school, or even if they talk about advantage uh, uh, books, um, is, is more that uh, advantage system, it's more that they're getting everything what they needed from first grade and of high school, and even they can use it in the, in the college. That is the main idea to getting out because if you like in the advantage, you're showing only math and later on history. They need to understand that they're getting everything. Because uh, it's really working out. Even if it's really working out, uh, if you're talking with your friends about whatever topic, if you're talking, uh, talking about your hobbies and that kind of, if you're not excited yourself, uh, your friend is not gonna be excited. The same way with us, if you're not excited, the customer isn't going to be excited. And you probably ru ruined the sales situation as well. And, and you don't have to be crazy. Sometimes we, uh, sometimes we thinking so much and we're going so crazy and uh, we have like that kind of, uh, that is an old picture. That's why the quality is pretty bad. So me and Andres Martin run over visiting Italy, but uh, it's gonna some, some guy. Okay, let's go move on. We have a price build up as well. Price build up, the key idea is you have to be super confident. Uh, eye contact, it has to be really, really, really it's really important guys the eye contact if you're messing up the eye contact there then probably they understand you're lying or you're not believing yourself you can if you don't want, want to watch them into the eye look at the nose or look at the forehead really easily mm, it's uh, it's easier to practice right now wherever you guys are even if you have a, like a, some random conversations with your mom or girlfriend or friends, then you really just, uh, I, will, I will try it out and be more confident and watch in the eye and listening. It's so, it's so much harder. Uh, I know when I was starting myself, it's uh, at the first year, it, it was super, super hard to watch like a 45 year old Susan and they're sitting together with them, some, some high schoolers, like a four of them sitting together with me and I have to watch Susan and I and tell them the bright uh, it was it was pretty hard, but if you practice, it makes perfect. Write it down all the time. You should write it down the prices, uh, the pricing list as well. Why? Because um, we're coming from Europe. We have an accent, so.
so sometimes they don't understand what we talking about it. So write it down the numbers, it's easier, and even, even it's easier to show the showing the payments. Mm, because price build up, the key idea is comparing, right? We're comparing with other books, but we're not selling books only, we're selling the value. So they need to understand the value behind the books. Sometimes we just uh, uh, comparing with the books and then people don't buy because then they can see the value behind it. Use names, use lots of names, like the sales talk always uh, uh, telling you use teacher's names. It's, um, it's so, much, so much better if you're using somebody else's name, not your, you saying yourself it's good, right? If somebody else is agree with you or saying it, it's really good, then they're gonna believe it more. They, they're not gonna believe only you. So use more names and we are not Topshop. If you have seen the Topshop commercials, we are not those guys. We are not uh, like if you if you're buying like a uh, one sunglass right now with uh, regular price prices like a hundred bucks, and then you're doing comparing like it's ten, it's actually ten bucks. And even if you're calling right now, uh, we're shipping out like sixty-five more of them. We are not Topshop. That's why we need to explain the value as well. So a couple of pictures as well. Don't be like overconfident. Don't be like, I know everything and be more humble. Be confident, be chill, lay back uh, with the price, uh, price build up as well. You can ask what you need to do with your body language, but be uh, confident. Eye contact, not too intense, guys. <laughs> sometimes people going, uh, going crazy and sometimes they being even stupid. Uh, they're watching Susan really into eye really intense then uh, then probably susan not not gonna buy from you as well but if you're like a confident easy lay back chill like they're gonna buy you uh, from you at least something right and we're not top shops uh, so remember that part as well uh, we're not like a buy if you buy one ask me right now i give you like a 10 of them later it's not that way so behind that is value and be ready for summer. Thank you. Thank you, Dane. Good ideas. Uh, always funny, always funny and enthusiastic. You can see why Dane Lutz sells so many books. His enthusiasm is contagious. Was it interesting today? Did you learn something? I actually have a big favor to ask from you before you just jump away and go away from this meeting here i would like you to sit for a minute or two look at the notes you took write wrote down and underline the, the ideas you really liked or got from those meetings and be ready to share those ideas with your manager next time you meet so just a small idea favor to ask, don't just jump out and, and up and go away, but take this extra time. It really helps you to learn and get the ideas you wanna use and put in practice and, and be ready to share those ideas with your, uh, with your manager next time. And managers, definitely ask from your first years, what did they learn from this meeting? You're just helping them to get ready for a good summer. And finishing thought, remember I said, control, influence and accept the good old CIA, uh, things you can control, things you can influence, and things you just have to accept. So let's give our best to just focus on the things we can control. Thank you, all people here. I think we had almost 400 people on this meeting here. So thank you for being here on time. Thank you for listening and see you next week.